Good day. Uh, this video is going to be about metric prefixes today. It's just going to be a fairly short video. And by metric prefixes, what I'm referring to are these metric prefixes. If uh, you don't have them, there they are. You can take a chance to try and copy those down if you can read this. But anyway, let's get into exactly what these prefixes mean. I mean, literally all they are are an example of a type of exponent. That's it. When you see centimeter, all that does is represent 10 to the negative 2. Millimeter represents 10 to the negative 3, and so forth. And all this does is it makes the units more convenient. We can use a prefix to make working with something more convenient in terms of the numbers that we use in, uh, in science. So let's take a look at basic conversions from one metric prefix to another and what they mean. Uh, a few prefixes y'all are probably familiar with is something like a kilometer or a kilogram. Everybody's kind of heard of a kilometer before. So what does it mean if something is five kilometers? Well, all you have to do is look at your metric prefixes. A kilometer is 10 to the 3 meters. So five kilometers is five times 10 to the third meters. And that's all a kilometer is. So, and we can do that with anything. For example, uh, let's go with a blue light or violet light. Violet light is about 400 nanometers. And so what that means is that light is 400 times 10 to the, check your prefix list. Nano means 10 to the negative 9. So 400 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Or, of course, if you wanted to, you could even call it point uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see, how many should we go here? Five, six, four meters. Anyway, so if there's your alternative. This is why we have these prefixes. To write out this, to write out this, or just to shorten it to 400 nanometers. Uh, so this is the reason for our prefixes. Now, we need to be able to convert from one type of prefix to another. Now, I literally converted right here. This was a conversion, but it was much easier than like inches to feet or something of that nature. All we have to do to do a basic metric conversion, let's just say easy problem. Let's just say we've got five millimeters, and let's say we want to change that to a centimeter. So five millimeters is how many centimeters? Very quick way to convert is to do the same way you do a unit conversion. Start by writing down five, and we would draw our line, put our X our line. I'm just going to do one thing. Instead of writing down five millimeters, I already know that milli means on my prefix list, list 10 to the negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and write down five times 10 to the negative 3 meters. And now I'm going to draw a line, put an X in draw another line out beside that. So if you look, just by knowing what my prefixes are, I've already got rid of the milli and got 10 to the negative 3 in its place. So now I, all I have to do is go, well, what am I converting to? Centimeters. So if I want to convert to a centimeter, it'll go on top. What does centi stand for? Well, check your conversion list or your prefix list. Cine means 1 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. Now, in terms of your canceling, look, you've got meter and meter. Everything cancels. And all you've got to do to answer this problem is just look at it. All you're going to do is divide your exponents. So this is going to be negative 3 minus negative 2, which negative 3 minus negative 2 is negative 3 plus 2. So your answer is 5 times 10 to the negative 1 centimeters or 0.5 centimeters which 5 millimeters is exactly half of a centimeter. Anyway, that's all we have to do in order to do these metric conversions like this. We'll do one more for an example and then that's why I said this is going to be a short video. Let's say that we've got a 200 milligram ibuprofen perhaps and let's try and convert that to another prefix. So let's convert from milligrams to, I don't know, a microgram. 
Start by writing 200, but don't write down milli. Write down milli means 10 to the negative third grams. So we've already got our first converted version in our head. Put our X, draw our line. We're converting two micrograms, so it goes on top right here. One microgram on top. On bottom, we'll write 1 times 10 to the negative 6 grams. Uh, here's about the only thing you do to screw up. Whoa, big time camera kick. You will see somebody write out 1 times 10 to the negative 6 micrograms. If you catch yourself writing out this, you know you've missed the problem because micro means 10 to the negative 6. So you shouldn't have times 10 negative 6 micro written out like this. So look up here. The micro is on top of my conversion. The 10 to the negative 6 is on the bottom of the conversion. Now all I have to do is divide my exponent. So this is going to be 200. And I've got negative 3 minus negative 6. Negative 3 minus negative 6 is negative 3 plus 6. So that's a 3. So 200 times 10 to the third micrograms or 200,000 micrograms. Either way, that's my answer. And how about this? What if we were doing centimeters to feet? Could this same use of stuff make that easier? Say we had 9 centimeters and we wanted to convert that 9 centimeters to feet. Well, yeah, it definitely makes it easier because now all we have to do is write down 9 times 10 to the negative 2 meters, draw our line, put an X, and look, we've already converted it to meters at this point. So now all we have to know is 3.281 feet in one meter, and look, we've just turned this into a one-step conversion problem at this point. Anyway, that's all you need to be able to do your metric prefixes. Again, if you're just doing metric prefixes a bunch, you'll get to where you can do them in the calculator because you can just look at them. Say you've got a unit of, say you've got a unit of mega on one side and you've got a unit of giga on the other side. You know that whatever you got, you're going to have 10 to the 6 minus 10 to the 9. So your answer is going to end up times 10 to the negative 3 when it's all said and done. So after a little while, you can do these really fast just in your head.